and 15 at night. Yeah, very comfortable temperature. If uh, the dog needs to go on a walk right now, it's not too bad. Maybe a light jacket and that's about it. 52 degrees and you know your morning temperatures aren't going to be too much different from what we're experiencing right now. Well, let's go over to our downtown camera, Portland. It's 55. Wind is a little bit lighter now out of the northwest at six miles per hour. Looking at those early morning temperatures again, really kind of hangs right around 50 degrees. At least that's the case for Portland and Vancouver. Anywhere else in the valley, you may watch those morning temperatures drop down into the upper 40s. So what do we have here when we look at the big picture? Ridge of high pressure is going to briefly take over as we get to tomorrow. You'll notice still some high level clouds in the mix, but other than that, your temperatures moving into the low 70s. So assuming we hit that 70 degree mark tomorrow, that will make for the month of April nine days where the temperature has reached at least 70 degrees. That's more than any April in the last 10 years. So pretty significant when you uh, consider the last decade. Now what's out here in the Pacific? Well, it's the next area of low pressure. Now it looks pretty big and it looks pretty bold, but really most of the moisture associated with this system is going to head right into uh, Vancouver, BC, uh, portions of Seattle and along the uh, west coast there in Washington. They'll get most of the rain. We'll get a little bit, perhaps about a tenth of an inch at best. How warm was it today? We did reach a high of 69. Our low this morning was at 50 degrees, so we're likely to see a repeat with that morning temperature tomorrow. And by the way, our record low for this day, that was 32 degrees in 1948. The record high was 86 degrees. We haven't seen any 80s yet this year, will we? Well, not this week, not happening at all. Tomorrow will be certainly a little bit warmer, some low 70s. Next chance to see rain, that would be Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday evening, lingering into early Thursday morning. And then we have a dry day Friday, Saturday, our next chance for rain initially still some warm temperatures, but by the time we get to Sunday, we could be seeing some snow levels over our mountain passes. That's right down to about 4,000 feet that Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening, and then Monday would be our next chance to see some rain. So again, how much rain could we see to end to wrap up this month? Maybe a few hundredths of an inch, and so far we're behind by about an inch and a half, almost two inches just month to date. How about this weekend though? We add on to our weekend totals. Now we might be looking at something closer to perhaps uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain, which is something we definitely need more of. So next chance of rain again Wednesday night, Thursday morning, Friday. It's nice and clear Saturday, Sunday, much cooler and wetter weather lasting all the way through Monday. Sunday's high only reaching 56, but tomorrow 72. I'll send it back to you. Thanks.